Hey guys and welcome to another video. So I purchased China's fastest Wi-Fi router and I'm really impressed. The performance I'm seeing is much better than expected. Here we have a photo of a mini PC really close to the router and we're getting a transfer speed of 200 megabytes per second. Now that is faster than gigabit ethernet. Coverage is also pretty good in my computer lab which is the thirdest bedroom in my house. We're still getting 170 megabyte per second. At the back we have four Ethernet ports, three one gigabit and one can do 2.5 gigabit. My NAS is also compatible with 2.5 gigabit so I connected my NAS to the 2.5 gigabit port. The price is also very good. If you live in China you can buy this from Taobao for 599 IMB which is 92 US dollars or 120 Aussie dollars. I purchased mine from AliExpress. It's easier with the shipping. You're looking at 127 US dollars or 164 Aussie including shipping. And finally it was really easy to set up. That surprised me. I used my mobile phone to connect to the router initially and then just a translation app and that was straightforward. I configured my own password for the Wi-Fi and then I connected through a desktop. I used Google Translate and it was really easy to configure. In terms of specifications we have a Qualcomm processor. There are two data streams for 2.4 gigahertz, four data streams supporting 160 megahertz at 5 gigahertz and there's a dedicated antenna for smart devices. It supports the 4K QAM specifications and it is also compatible with mesh. There's a button at the back and you can uh, pair a couple of these together as a larger mesh network. So it's very fast, the price is good and it was straightforward to set up. Now we're going to talk a little bit uh, more about the details of my home setup. This is the modem slash router wireless access point switch all in one networking device from my ISP, uh, Aussie broadband, but I'm now with Superloop. And yeah, it's got the typical ports at the back. So I've configured this into bridge mode, which basically deactivates the DHCP, the router, the Wi-Fi and all of that. It's basically now just a modem and that was uh, what I believe is the best solution because you avoid having two DHCP servers and two network address uh, translation devices on the same network. So I connected my ISP modem into the one gigabit WAN port but I didn't get any internet and that is because out of the box the 2.5 gigabit ethernet port is configured as WAN. There's an option where you can change that and then I just selected DHCP so the router gets an IP address from the ISP through the modem and I was up and running in no time. After that I had internet access. I just typed in the IP address of the default gateway to get the interface of the router, activated Google Translate and it was really easy to configure. I didn't make too many changes. I created a DHCP address reservation for the NAS and I also went into the options to update the firmware. Uh, you don't need to download a firmware through a USB or anything like that. It finds an update automatically and you just uh, press OK. And yeah, after that everything was up and running and I've been using the router for maybe a week now and I'm really impressed with the performance, uh, with the coverage and yeah, the value is really, really impressive. I believe I didn't mention the model, it is the Xiaomi AX6000. In terms of negatives for the price and in terms of value, there's really not much you can say against it. I do wish that it had five uh, Ethernet ports, one for WAN and then four for your LAN and maybe also a USB port to uh, yeah, share some uh, printers or a USB hard drive. But uh, you have to look at the cost and yeah, I can't stress it enough. I'm really happy and I wouldn't be doing this video if I yeah, wouldn't buy it myself. I did. So 
there you go. Um, at a fraction of the cost of buying something locally, um, I have super fast Wi-Fi now, which helps me review, uh, yeah, mini PCs that have the new 802.11ax Wi-Fi standard integrated. And yeah, I don't want to talk too much more about the setup and configurations. If you have specific questions, just uh, drop them down below in the comment section. I'm using this router so I can just log on to the interface and uh, share and tell you what it has to offer. But yeah, really happy. I can highly recommend it. I will put some affiliation links down below in the description if you're interested and let me know what you think.